Hey, what is up everybody? How are you all doing out there? This is Regan. Thanks for tuning back into our channel. In this video, we are going to unbox and review this second newly released figure of Hot Toys. Another Harley Quinn figure from the Birds of Prey movie. But this time, it's the Caution Tape Jacket version. MMS 566A16 scale collectible figure. And before we start, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video, especially Hot Toys. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is the art box. I would say another fabulous art box of Harley Quinn figure. Nice, again, very Harley Quinn. I think this one is more Harley Quinn because it's color pink. And also, it's pretty much the same to the other version, the first one that I unboxed. Yeah, this one is pretty much the same. I think the, the only difference is probably some extra stickers or new stickers from the front uh, print right here. And also the picture of Harley Quinn is also different, different pose, I would say. And also the colors, yeah, and some fonts, probably some uh, backdrop. And kind of like this one is silver-ish, but well, it, this is metallic print, so kind of like that. So, because the other one is kind of like goldish, a eh? goldish uh, metallic print. This one looks better, I would say, a uh, very Harley Quinn. You can see right there, this one is color pink, the other one is yellow, and on the top, and at the back, you can see that really nice color pink metallic print, right? Which is really nice. See? Very Harley Quinn, I would say, guys. Yeah, or very feminine, yeah. Well, the other one also nice. But I'm just saying, like, this one is more for female collector. Wait, let me get the other box so you guys could compare and see what is the difference. Bam! Oh my goodness. Look at that! That is really, really cool. If you really love uh, Harley Quinn or Margot Robbie, I think this one is a must buy. I think I, <laughs> I'm just saying. So, well, anyway, you could choose between these two version. But I would say if you collect this two and only you collect Harley Quinn, this one is really a must. <laughs> you know, you should get this two version. And I mean, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you know, wow, it's really nice, right? I love the combination of these two and then you put the two big figures here and then you have the display those female collectors out there again I suggest you should buy this too <laughs> even at the back you can see right there wow that's really nice combination even the reflection that's really cool to see to watch so even this one yeah see if you're going to display and together with your books like those female collectors like if you like reading books like, and then you put this one on the side that looks cool too to add in your you know shelves right so it's not really just easy to throw it out nice anyway let's uh, uh unbox the other one wait wait let me open this one first the extra feature of this art box it has a magnet that you could open it and see right away what's inside the box that's a very nice presentation also the Ooh, the accessories that's a lot of accessories guys wow and this one right here this one looks really cool too although i like the other one the inner print uh, but this one also looks good i mean like very feminine too it looks i think i want i want to cut that one and then together with the other uh uh front cover of the art box i mean the other version you know and then display it uh use it as a backdrop that's really really cool right wow okay so i'm excited to unbox this one let's open it Okay, so this is the packaging and underneath is the backdrop right here guys oh this one looks really cool too I would say it really matches to the figure might gonna outshine the figure but the print of this one looks better I would say wait let me open it first actually this one is more glossy I would say compared to the other one the other one is a bit darker and colorful. A lot of uh, color that happening uh, on the print. But this one, also uh, colorful, but kind of like very minimal. You know, because it's small square patterns. 
I'm um, just saying guys huh? But uh, let's see Let's see uh, what it looks like uh, Once we um, stand the figure In the front Okay Ooh, okay, there's a packaging right here on the top. Okay, let me show you guys first the right. So this is the instruction sheet. Okay. Oh, this one is a bit bigger because it has a lot of accessories. So more pages, I would say. There you go. Okay. Mm hmm There you go. This one. Nice. Okay. That's it. So the instruction sheet, unless you guys could see it closely. And uh, this one right here is her extra shirt with her name. Harley Quinn right there, color white, a uh, bit thin. Yeah, just a fabric material. And then right here is the extra ammo for her gun. Yeah, for her shotgun, I believe. And also some different colors right there on the, at the bottom. See? Nice. Looks good. Okay, so this one has some uh, straps. Yeah, there you go. So Velcro, I mean Velcro design, so you could easily uh, attach it to her body. Extra ammo, okay? So let's move on. Wait, I, I didn't notice this one, it fell down. So this one is also part of that. So something like an extra uh, body strap with that padlock. <laughs> yeah, you can see right there. That's really cool. Nice. Wait, 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 let me show you guys. There you go. Right? Also some, uh, what's this, a Velcro design. So this one is part of that extra, I mean like first packaging on the top. Okay? Okay, so I'm gonna start off with her extra interchangeable hands. Wait, let me... Okay, so it has four pairs extra interchangeable hands. So the first pair right here is kind of like similar to the uh, first version. I mean the other version of this Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn. So this is the peace sign right there holding the weapon okay and, and then next up right here is a pair of holding the weapon gesture there you go and then next up right here is not a pair because this one has a gloved uh this one doesn't have uh, again kind of similar to the other version the pointing finger i would say so this one kind of like holding the weapon too okay probably the the baseball bat right there very nice details on the gloves and then next up right here is a pair of holding the weapon probably this one is holding the shotgun yes there you go very nice details on the gloves and then right here is the extra two pieces joint there you go and then some buttons right here on this side and then next up right here is the kind of like a support or kind of like a fabric material that you're going to attach to the forearms probably you're going to uh, put this one first before putting that forearm armor and then right here is the one i'm talking about before you attach that fabric band to her forearms kind of like a gauntlet or forearms armor because this one is uh, part of this one right here so yeah i'm not sure if this one's supposed to be a um, kind of like a wrap around leather like or uh, fabric material but at least they made a uh, rubber kind of rubber material instead because at least this one is more durable I would say compared to leather like or fabric material and the details is really nice those patterns are really cool those hand patterns or uh, details really nice guys that's cool and then next up right here is an extra boots an old white boots wow that is really clean very nice paint applications you can see right there i hope there's no paint cheap or crack i think it looks clean yeah and also uh it has some high heels right there that very clean sole too okay nice very nice and then next up right here is her weapon the baseball bat I think this is also what I'm uh, what I'm talking about earlier. I mean, like on my uh, other uh, Harley Quinn unboxing, the Birds of Prey 2, because it shows in the instruction sheet. So that's why I thought they kind of like forgot to you know to put or to include, <laughs> but kind of like uh, they separate the weapon. So this one is for the caution, and that mallet uh, weapon is for that uh, original version of the Birds of Prey Harley Quinn. Wow, so you have to buy both 
to, for you to be able to get these two version <laughs> i mean these two weapons but anyway yeah looks clean looks cool next up and then next up right here is the sandwich wow that looks cool i love this part in the movie so yeah it has some uh, foil that wrap around to the sandwich that looks cool ham and cheese and ham and egg and cheese <laughs> and then next up right here is her shotgun that looks really cool guys nice i love those prints nice details wow it's a very nice print so cool fun gun parental advisory yes some uh tallies there very nice this one is really cool guys i'm not sure if there's any movable parts well it looks like you could flip this one but uh later i'm gonna check the manual if there's any movable parts from this one okay and then right here is her necklace and then this one right here is another necklace wow it has a lot of cross different cross there you go okay and of course the fig and let's get the figure guys i'm excited to see this one oh this one looks better because she's smiling nice so similar head sculpt but this one of course different expression which is good which is better uh, for me uh, so let's remove those foams and plastic also it has some plastic in the upper body so i have to remove that again so I think similar uh, body I think uh, It looks like a similar body From that other version Let me remove the plastic first Alright, so already removed all the plastics uh, Right there From the wrist Also from the upper body Right here It's easy to uh, remove that plastic guys So don't worry about it You don't need to remove this one Just pull it out uh, Make sure you pull that uh, Remove the head first And also some plastic here too Already removed and I'm going to leave this uh, plastic here uh, from her belly. So at least just to, you know, just in case in the future, just what I did on the other version. Maybe, you know, it will have some discoloration. At least it's ready, you know. And it's not really visible. So I think it's fine because it's very clear. And also I leave some plastic also here uh, to her boots. So at least just in case too, from uh, to avoid some discoloration. Yeah, I think it's fine looks okay there you go yeah that very nice uh, jacket that clear jacket too with some tassels glittering tassels right there and made out of caution uh, tape yeah so this is the caution tape jacket version there you go so just a quick look I love her head sculpt guys nice very nice this one is better better than the other one okay there you go nice okay let's get the base all right so this is the base wow this one is very shiny wow i mean compared to the other one i think almost the same but this one wow the reflection is too strong <laughs> yeah you can see right there nice and you should really put some nice uh, lights here for you to really uh, see that uh, what's this the birds of prey uh, print nice right and then also the caution tape right there wow it's very clean and then also the same holder that round holder all right so i think that's pretty much everything included in the box that's a lot of accessories so now let's check the articulations and attach those accessories let's play around okay so now let's check the articulations for sure this one is pretty much the same to the other version to the other uh, harley quinn birds of prey uh, this one is very smooth too and actually it's more loose than the other one that one is really tight i think this one is quite loose so looking down there you go, I think that's a max. And then same thing, there's no looking up because, yeah, there's no neck articulation. It's kind of like this one is, uh, this kind of, uh, this type of body is, is a bit stiff. So it doesn't have that, uh, what's this, like articulations on the neck. Okay, so only looking straight. There you go. 
side side tilt it has for sure but very very minimal like this I think yeah same other side there you go nice <laughs> that's creepy anyway so down again same yeah already already did that so yeah I think the articulation is good I would say okay so let's move on and also some articulations on uh, on her ponytails you can see right there you could do some 360 rotate that so same on the other version and some soft material here on her bangs the ears so be careful on those parts okay so let's move on to the arms again it's pretty much the same too up to 90 degrees Oops. There you go. Yeah, only 90, 90 degrees, guys. Nice. Then, there you go. And then slowly. Yeah, ratchet joints. And uh, to the front, this one is probably gonna be uh, limited compared to the other one because she has a jacket. Unless uh, once we exchange, once we change her clothes, her jacket to the t shirt, probably we could. This one is a bit limited, I would say, because of her jacket. Okay, but still decent. You know, you can still do some uh, nice pose there. You can see right there. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah. To the front, I think all the way to 90 degrees. Yeah, we could still do that 90 degrees, guys. There you go. Okay. And then, um, elbows. Let's move on to the elbows. Elbows. Just be careful on those. Uh, huh. What's this? Like uh, tassels. There you go. Uh, fringes. Kind of like that. Uh, other side. Same. 90 degrees only, guys. Oh, ooh, this one. We got two. Yeah, only 90 degrees. Not double jointed. Just a single joint, but at least uh, still looks decent, I would say. You see? Okay, right there. And also you could swivel that. I forgot to mention that earlier also on the other one. So this one, you could swivel the forearms, that uh, elbow joint. Let's put it back. Yeah. Very, very uh, fragile, I would say. Because you might gonna pull out, you know, one string. Uh, on her uh, from her sleeve so but just be careful those uh, design okay and then same same on the upper body for sure you could twist that yeah if you twist the upper body you can see right there I think that's a max same other side great yeah it looks great see? how come this one uh, I could twist more than the other one probably because of the costume okay and uh, this one she has that uh, uh what is this that uh, okay and about the the side the seal the side for sure she has also you see you can see right there okay and then there's no waist articulation for sure it's the same yeah so there's no waist articulation only on the upper torso okay mm, yes okay let's move on to the legs let me remove Let's open that leg. This one, you could really open the legs a bit wider than the other one because she doesn't have the pants. Wait. Okay, so only short. So yeah, you can freely move her legs for sure. Up to for sure 90 degrees. Yes, look at that. Nice. That's really cool. And then also other, uh, to the back. Yeah, I forgot to do that on the other, um, what's this other version? Because she has the pants, yeah, so you know that uh, it's very limited. But this one, yeah, 90 degrees to the front, to the back, uh, kind of like, uh, you know, 50 degrees and, or 45 degrees. And then the knees part, you can see right there. Okay, all, yeah, the same. See, we cannot, uh, let's just like lift that more than 90 degrees. Okay, only 90 degrees. There you go. At least it's tight, and then the ankle. Nah, expect that because of that high, uh, high boots. Yeah, that high heel boots. Actually, it's not just only high heel, but even the boots. You know, the I, I forgot the cold of this one. Yeah, this one right here we can't. Yeah, she doesn't have only 
only twist rotation there you go so no articulations i mean like only twist but i think once we change her boots to the white color probably we could get at least a small uh, articulation you know but for this uh boots yeah she doesn't have so expect that okay I'm even having a hard time to stand her. The boot is quite the. Uh, huh. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let me check that later. So anyway, so yeah, that's the. Well, you can't swivel this one, guys. Just just so that you know, if you want to turn out her legs. So yeah, we can't uh, swivel the legs. Only sideways, front and back. Okay. I think that's it. That's it for the articulation. So very quick. Yeah, very easy to move her. And uh, what we're gonna do? So, let's try to attach those accessories. So there you go, already removed the jacket. So, it's quite, uh, actually, it's easy. But it's just a bit, uh, you know, fragile, very delicate, I would say. So, just do it slowly. Jacket. So make sure you remove the hands first before removing the jacket. Okay, I'm not sure if we could uh, uh, put the zipper on. We can't. I'm just yeah, just checking. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So this is the jacket, right, guys? So already removed the plastic and uh, hmm, the suspender is uh, detachable. So there's some buttons right here at the back. Okay, detach this one if you want there you go Ooh, that's very easy yeah it's easy to detach that uh, suspender just unhook that uh -huh. nice wow very summer i would say <laughs> okay okay so let me attach this one because i thought this one is a uh, part of the body uh belt bandolier but this one is the belt here so let's attach it here. Let's put it inside. All right, guys. So already attach her belt right here. I think it looks good. It's made out of leather material, so yeah, expect some flaking in the future. And yeah, so I didn't uh, insert here on the last part, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think it looks fine. So at least it's easy to detach too. Okay. Okay. So and also I put down the suspender here on the side this this there you go right and then what's next let's put that hmm what's next okay so i think that's it for this look so now let's try to put her white shirt okay let's change the necklace this uh bandolier there you go let's try to put the gauntlet ah okay so not only to protect uh the skin also to hide the joint so that's the purpose of this one but it's really really tight wow so there's no oh this one's the right Right, and then this one's the left. There you go. And then let's attach this one. There you go. Other one. Actually. Yeah, there's the other one. This one right here. For her. It's good. Now let's try to use her shotgun. Right. So that's how it looks like. Wow, that looks really, really cool, guys. Love it. Love this uh, version. And the sandwich. Let's try to put the. Yeah. Let's try to add the sandwich. Yeah, that one looks cool. Okay. Wow, that's really, really hard, guys, to attach the joint from this boot. <laughs> Wow, that's really tight, guys. That's in. 
<laughs> probably the joint the ball joint is really sm really big it's quite big to you know to attach it here but it's still good i mean like uh, at least it's very tight uh it's not easy to you know lose yeah there you go so this is the match to her outfit yeah we're going to do some articulation on this boots i think yeah you're gonna get a little bit yeah a little bit of articulation there side compared to the other one because this one is a bit uh low uh lower than the other one okay there you go guys okay so let's check this shotgun if we could open it Ooh, there you go i see so just be careful just take it easy when uh you know flipping out that uh what's this this shotgun so that's the movable part so now let's try to detach one bullet inside insert that there you go i think up to probably two there you go yeah so up to two uh bullets you could put inside guys okay there you go oops i cannot close it oh there yes okay so at least it's more realistic that uh uh, she uses the bullets, right? <laughs> there you go, guys. I forgot to attach the baseball bat. Let me let me try this one. There you go. See, okay. So you could also use that baseball bat or the shotgun. Nice. <laughs> Let's try to put the backdrop at the back so we can see how it looks like. Oh, I see. This one looks better if he's, she's wearing the white shirt. I think it's fine, but uh, I think this one probably okay too. But you can see that uh, somehow uh, it's kind of like not you're not gonna notice the that was just a caution tape jacket compared to this look, right? Yeah. See? And that background of birds of prey which is really nice how come i cannot twist the body okay yes i think that's it for the backdrop i think this uh, look uh, would be better for that backdrop for this one also maybe maybe it will work but i'm just saying you know yeah so i think that's it my overall thoughts on this caution tape jacket version of harley quinn i would say it is absolutely amazing not only just because it is a beautiful figure indeed but there's a tons of display that you could do for this figure lots of accessories for different poses and that being said you could really play a lot to this version and you are going to love it especially if you love taking pictures this is it it is a must buy figure and definitely should be part of your dc collection even doing articulations i think it's not going to be a problem i don't think you will complain about it even if there's a limited range for some parts, I think it will be okay. However, the joints are visible so probably you will not like it, but I don't think so. You will probably forget about it. With that really beautiful head sculpt of Harley Quinn, fantabulous. Although it's not 100% accurate to Margaret Robbie, nevertheless still amazing. So if you can find this at a lower price, you should get it now. For sure, the price will mark up after a few years or maybe after a year. And in my honest opinion, I would choose this over the other versions of Birds of Prey Harley Quinn. I think that's about it. Let me know your thoughts on this figure. Feel free to comment down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching. Until then, see you in the next one. Peace.